Welcome to the National Day of Prayer. I'm Peg Luxick, Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor in the state of Pennsylvania. This is a wonderful day, and there will be people much more eloquent than I, quoting our founding fathers and sharing their wisdoms and their insights, and so I'm not going to repeat that here. I want to talk to you today about what I see and what little perspective I can bring to the table. America is unique not because of our geography or our economics. America is unique because this nation was actually founded on the idea that God exists and that he's the highest authority. As a matter of fact, we called that idea a self-evident truth. And what flows from that truth is that each of us is a created being. We have worth and value and dignity because we were created by the master of the universe and because we are loved by the Lord of the universe as well. You know, there's now such hostility to especially the Judeo-Christian religions in our society. And we're told that while free speech does allow kneeling in disrespect for the flag, it doesn't allow kneeling in respect for the creator who gave us life. We are told that while free speech does allow every hateful, nasty, mean-spirited statement that someone could make, it doesn't allow proclaiming the biblical principles that built this nation in the first place. Why? Why the antipathy? You know, you don't have to belong to a church. If you belong, you don't have to go. If you go, you don't have to listen. And if you listen, you don't have to obey. No pastor I know has an army or can levy taxes or put you in jail if you don't listen to what he says to you. So why is the government so hostile to anything faith-based being part of our society? The simple answer is the government hates the competition. The state doesn't wanna be not in first place. They, the state doesn't want God to be the highest authority. Throughout history, the state has always wanted itself to be the highest authority. And for that to happen, the first thing that needs to go is God. Any public reference, statement, proclamation, symbol, gone. Because the state doesn't want people to be reminded of the fact that we, each of us, we don't belong to the government. We belong to God. Now, each of us has a right to interact with that God or not as we see fit. And that too flows from the statement that this is a nation founded on the premise that God exists and that he is the highest authority. The state should not be able to step in between how we choose personally to interact or not with God. This is a wonderful day, but shouldn't every day be able to be a national day of prayer? When did it happen that we stopped being allowed to pray in our schools, in our community centers, in our government buildings? When did that happen? And why did we allow it to happen? In a way, the state of affairs is our fault. The only way we're going to change it is if we personally resolve to change it. So today isn't the day, it's the first day when we resolve that we who do believe that God is the highest authority of our land stand up and proclaim it with our actions, with our words, without anger, without malice, but without apology and without compromise. Ronald Reagan used to say, if we are not a nation under God, we will become a nation gone under. I agree with that. Throughout this campaign, I have done my best to proclaim that self-evident truth. I begin every speech with the statement that we, each of us, are created beings and that everything else flows from that. On this wonderful day of prayer, please join me in standing up for the very soul of America and make today the beginning of our effort to once again 
be a nation that acknowledges that America exists under God's providence and loving care. Have a wonderful day, and please pray for me as I will for you. God bless you.